58. <laughs> Vlog number two. Good morning, Misfits. It's uh, 8.48 a.m. Feels like 6.48 a.m., but it's 8.48 a.m. It is Friday, May 19th, day one of individual competition at regionals for the East Regional in Albany. Really excited. Um, other than the fact that it's... How hot is it still in here? I don't know, 80 degrees? 75. It's high 70s in here all night. Not cool. Hilton, Albany. I hope, I hope you guys watch this YouTube video. Um, so Ted Sherb and I will uh, head down to the hotel gym and see what we can cook up down there and then probably meet up with the athletes and start giving them rah-rah speeches and get them ready to rock. <laughs> Most people would be pissed that the gym got relocated to a ballroom, but now we can do whatever we want. Yep. Play flag football? Yep. Man, two on one. Hotel workout, 20 minutes, lunge, down, and back, three shuttle runs down and back, 20, push press at 35 pounds, but it's only 20 for me like twice, I just tried to do as many as I could, what do you think guys, Sweet. sweat fest eh? Yeah. Jerp, <laughs> jerp. You ever eat enough to feel like you're pregnant? Yeah. You saw a pregnant girl in the heat, and I said, "Can you imagine being like that? That must suck." And Drew's like, "That's a bit sure it's almost." That's how I felt last night after eating tacos. Felt pregnant, yeah, dude. sweaty. When I told you guys I was gonna come back down, no way. I was so yeah, cool. I was laying in my bed. I was like, "I'm not going." Myself down, curling my shoulders. Dude, day one. What do we got? Yeah, emotional roller coaster day one. Max Bragg goes out and fucking wins his heat, it takes third overall. That was crazy. Everybody else puts on a really good showing in event one. Caroline crushes event one. Sixth place overall in event one, I believe. Event two, way more of an emotional roller coaster because one of our athletes, Torres Peck, that's tough to watch. You're watching to see, you know, Austin wins his heat, Cody wins his heat, and then you're watching to see like where the other athletes come in also thinking about like one of your athletes being devastated so that's a really tough like up and down um, but you have three gentlemen uh, across at MF and third or fourth fifth and sixth after day one which is insane very exciting I don't even know I don't even know it's too much it's too much packed into one day my heart rate was over a hundred uh, before each workout, got up to like 115 before the second workout. This is almost more stressful when someone does well because then, then there's like that potential to keep doing well and change a lot of shit for them. So, it didn't disappoint. No, no, it didn't disappoint at all. So fun to watch. So cool. So cool to see so many people keep crossing the finish line first in their heat. Yeah. Cody with a little shirt pop to the camera after he won. Is he? That was awesome. 
It is also, what time is it, guys? It's 4.45, I haven't eaten anything yet. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not that weird for me. So I have the, the Drew Crandall starter kit. We have, uh, we have uh, kombucha, chorizo, and a block of cheese. Um, if you want to know where my girlish figure comes from, it's this right here. Athletes just got back from athlete briefing, headed back out to Whole Foods. Hopefully there's something around Whole Foods, other than Whole Foods. Got some superstars in the backseat. That shirt. Super sharp. Why'd you guys win so many heats today? That's weird. What the fuck? Just... How or why? 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 Just wanted to. It's a good idea. Cause we crushed training together. And, I don't know, our bubbles freaking fit, I guess. <laughs> so, your rookie individual appearance, first event. That was, I don't even know where that came from. I didn't think that I would make, like, well, I didn't know where was, what was going to happen with that one. Just because the run, like, on the true form practicing made me feel like a pile of shit. Um, and it took me over 20 minutes in, like, practice. But it was a lot easier to run. Warming up for tomorrow? Yeah. That felt really good on my knees. <laughs> good sure. the original. Shao! It didn't blow me away. But it was fun. It's a dope shit. Yeah. That's what's important.
are people up there, and then something happens to the tree, and then the fucking tree. That is a huge rarity. That the tree just snaps. That the tree will just snap. Although, when you're up there, it feels like it's one You time. start to, you know, when you first start, it's like, is this tree going to break off? I mean, I'm 60 feet up, and then the tree is only this big around, and it feels very flimsy. Oh, dude. You learn after a while that you can really trust trust the tree. And then the issue becomes you trust the tree and your ropes too much. So you'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll be fine. There's a big split here, and it's like there's a – you can see the dead in the bark going up. That's ah, fine. Rope a big top onto itself. and So that's when people get hurt, but it's very rare that a tree will break when you're in it. Tree talk. Tree talk. That's the next Wear your personal protective equipment, your PPE. They know your shit before you start cutting. Day one. Regionals. What happened in event one? What happened? What happened in event one? Uh, I don't remember. It's kind of a blur. No, I was in the corrals and you, it, everyone, I was looking around, every, I was feeling nervous. Yep. As everyone should. Looked around and everyone else looked just as nervous as I did. And picked out a few people and I said, you know, there's no reason why you can't beat me. There's no reason why you can't beat me. And I just kind of went around and... You mean there's no reason why I can't beat you? Yeah. Okay. I thought that's what you meant. You can, the reason you can beat me. Okay. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of the event itself, the run, I mean, you were running really hard. Yeah, I Did ran... You that? I accidentally <laughs> ran my ass off. Like, I got... Did you just feel good, or...? No, it was hard. It was hard, as hard as I made it. It's honest. <laughs> it wasn't particularly easy, um, but I did definitely... I knocked off, like, 45 seconds off of Damn. my other times, just yep. from the run itself. And then I only knew that because we were at about... The announcer said, All right, they're passing the halfway mark. Some of them have 600 meters left, and I looked down and I had 450 meters left, and I was like, uh-oh, this could be bad. <laughs> so, when you guys t t tested the workout, you said that the first few rounds were actually harder than the middle rounds because of it was after the run? Is that, yeah, is that you, still the case? Yeah, yeah, because of the weight vest, your legs kind of get pumped out on the run. On the run. Yep. You know, your calves are working, your quads are working, your hamstrings, your glutes, everything, and you get off and... You know when you stop running, your legs feel like they, they right. keep going. So it was it's a little bit of a transition doing that. When did you realize you were racing Paladino? Uh, I think it was round three or four. Because the, the first couple rounds, it's so chaotic. There's people jumping off. There's there's all kinds of stuff going on. And so you don't really know where you're at. But it was I think it was round three. I moved my chest piece up and looked over. And my chest piece was the first one on round three, right. I think. Yep. You know, every second counts in that workout. It's 12 rounds, so it's everything is about transitions with that. Yep. You could but. just tell, like, what's good about having that person, like, Nick, next to you was that you guys started to play off of each other a little mm -hmm. bit, which especially is good when you still have a whole other heat ahead of you. Right. Because if he wasn't there, you would have won by 30 seconds. 30, 35 yeah, seconds, something, something like, that, like that, and you might not have gone that fast. Right. No, right. I definitely wouldn't have. My, right. I mean, I just rewatched the heat just to, just to watch it, and my air squats started to pick up a little oh, faster for sure. because yeah. I, his were fast. Yeah. His you were got really him. Fast. You would. You would. He would recatch you. You would re. My transitions were better than you. his. Yeah, for sure. But his air squats were like, yeah, down up, like bouncing right off the yeah. ground. So, um, yeah, I could have done a little better on that, but. I felt like if I was going to go any faster, I would have fallen over. <laughs> and then the fun question, what was it like? What was it like going out there and winning that? Um, it was messy and slobbery. and <laughs> Like when it was over, though? What was it, the, was, what was it, was it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. The only thing that even compared was last year uh, with the final event. Right. The thrust to yeah. rope climb piece. Yeah. Just sprinting across, knowing that you get the event win. It's just like the whole arena erupts and it's just like ah, it's yeah. amazing it's absolutely amazing that's awesome 
something that will definitely drive me to to push harder tomorrow and the next for day sure. and, and even well, it was so like you couldn't write it better for you and Caroline like you guys you guys you know some part of you whether it's 99% or 1% know that you belong at regionals mm-hmm. but what happens in that first event can guide that attitude the rest of the weekend right. even if it's subconscious even if you don't even know so right. you go out there and you try as hard as you can both of you and you're like oh, did I just beat everybody that's out yeah. here right now and that wipes away all of that bullshit of your first time there right mm-hmm. off the bat and it's yeah. like oh, hell yeah I belong here if I can beat all of these people yeah. I belong here I don't even just belong here I belong you know yeah. up nice it was high. definitely satisfying and relieving and anything else you want to say coming into regionals right. as a first time individual athlete event one mm-hmm he won't let just you have no idea what the outcome is going to be right and to pull away with a with a heat win is you couldn't ask for a better a better spot awesome. so tomorrow you get to do the chipper against Matt Fraser <laughs> Pat Belmer like and that the is I'm like, telling you right now it's such an advantage to be out there with those guys mm. Because it's a, it's basically it's the same kind of yeah. idea as what you went through in the ring dip thing. You today. can pace off of them. You can little pace. Bit. You can pace off of them. You can make sure. And then at the end, even if you're like, oh, geez, I was X amount behind. It's like, yeah. Everyone. But X <laughs> amount behind is yeah. Exactly. The next key. That's that's where the top guy is going to be. Exactly. Hopefully. Yeah. For you, Austin, Cody, four, five, six. That's it's a nice little start. Cross the MF is making a stand. Yeah, like, dude, sure. I just, like, I mean, you guys are obviously, you got to be having a blast out there, but from my point of view, my perspective, like, it's like you guys fucking have a heat, heat win, heat win, heat win, heat win. Yeah, that's awesome. My heart rate was at 115 <laughs> prior to event two. Oh, really? Yeah. Because we were all in the same one? I, I just, I've watched so many athletes that train their ass off all year long and then don't lay it all out there on the floor and it's like heartbreaking for me so when yeah. I watch I'm like because I'm literally just, just you know their potential exactly so but I, just, and, I, and it's just it's not even about me being upset that they didn't I'm I'm like sad for them yeah it's like you just train this hard all year long and there's something holding you back you don't want to succeed or you want to be self sabotage there's all kinds of different reasons so when I watch it's not even about the placing it's about when I see that I see like the defeat like the effort take yeah. somebody's fate you know so that's why I get nervous before because it's like anything could happen, anything could happen. and if you because like I was I was very happy with with Caroline she came back into the athlete area and I could tell she was potentially about to get really upset and I was like that was awesome you you had a judge who was you know no repping you when it looked exactly the same as all the other reps and didn't throw a fit you just kept working you did what you could control that's all you can do and that I think I think helped a little bit so like yeah. her not finishing that I don't care Learn, learning plus experience plus there were tons of girls that didn't finish that workout right yeah what place is she in now like 15th I think Thir- 16th. 13th 13th that's awesome yeah yeah I think she thought she was going to be a little lower down after the second one but yeah it's great yeah that she's doing so good. It's Saturday is always really hard at regional. You want it to be hard. Hell yeah! We the we the sissies out. Exactly. <laughs> Fuck. Hopefully I'm not a sissy. We'll yeah. find out tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys. Misfit vlog day two. Um, awesome day. I know you guys didn't get to see the footage from regionals, the behind the scenes. We're not allowed to have cameras back there. Uh, but hopefully you guys, you know, followed along on social media, were able to watch the stuff, the actual events themselves on YouTube. Really exciting day for Misfit Athletics. Really exciting to watch uh, athletes crushing it in the South as well. Really exciting stuff. So um, I need some sleep because that was emotionally draining. I didn't actually do anything. Uh, but see you guys tomorrow.